Hey guys, Doug from Pine Tree Line, and uh, I'm here today to talk a little bit about how I uh, sold my canoe, and I'm uh, going in a new direction. Maybe in a little bit of an old direction, but kind of a new direction. Through the summer, um, I was able to do some canoe trips, and as time was wearing on, and I was dealing with uh, my bad shoulder and stuff like that, it was becoming increasingly difficult to use the canoe, not only to carry it, because fiberglass canoe is pretty heavy, about 60 pounds, maybe 65 pounds, uh, but also paddling itself. I started to think that, you know, maybe um, if there was some interest, I could sell the canoe and buy a, a lightweight carbon fiber canoe or something of that nature uh, down the road, maybe next year or something like that. So basically, put it up for sale. I was able to get $300 more than what I paid for it, and I've used it for the last four years, so it worked out really well. But then, you know, I got to a point where I was saying, well, looking at the prices of uh, carbon fiber canoes, pretty expensive and moving forward um, with COVID and COVID pricing and everything else, uh, stuff has just shot up and, and been kind of crazy. So I thought for now, uh, I could go back to something I used to use, which was a K2 um, two-person kayak. I used it as a one person, but I had some tremendous success. The most viewed video on Pine Tree Line is a review that I did of the Intex Explorer K2 kayak, inflatable kayak. I took it up uh, to Woodland Caribou, uh, which is a, a pretty um, famous place that uh, a lot of people go to, you know, outdoors people from all over the world. And I was able to take that and use it um, with the only uh, probably negative being the fact that uh, it's, it's not easy to uh, portage uh, with that thing. You pretty much need two people to do it. But besides that fact, it got me to where I wanted to go. And as I was doing canoe videos this year and camping, I was focusing less and less on the canoeing part of it uh, and more and more on the camping. Um, so really, did it matter how I got there or, or what have you? So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do moving forward, but I'm pretty excited to, that I bought another K2. Um, the one I had previous, I actually gave away to a friend's son who was looking for uh, a mode of transportation out on the water. And I thought, you know what, pay it forward and uh, let the young man use it. He liked to do some fishing with it, so good for him. Um, so... For the low price of uh, 172 bucks is what I got mine for. Uh, I decided I'm gonna get back into it and give it another go and uh, see how it works out. It's been good to me in the past. It's got me to where I wanted to go, and uh, it's relatively easy to, to pump up, especially now with uh, you know it comes with a, a pump. But I bought a um, uh, rechargeable uh, air pump to use, so it's even easier than when I had one last. So. Looking forward to using it, going on some adventures with it. Again, uh, it's just another inexpensive way of getting out in the outdoors, and, and I've always kind of preached that. So going out and buying a, you know, four thousand or thirty-five hundred dollar uh, Kevlar or carbon fiber canoe uh, kind of goes against that whole philosophy of uh, getting out in the outdoors as kind of cheaply as you can and enjoying it. So yeah, I'm pretty much I'm gonna use this for the time being, and uh, over the next year probably and see where I'm at after that and if I decide to go in a different direction then so be it but but for now I think this is the way I want to go uh, we are in the fall season so I'm not going to be using it the, uh, this year I'm still uh, rehabbing my shoulder uh, doing physio for that so as time goes on that's getting better I feel like I have no problem uh, paddling the kayak when the spring comes and I'm going to go out there and, and do some adventures uh, not too many people know that I've, I sold the canoe I sold it a while back so some people may be uh, surprised that I actually uh, went ahead and did that. But again, different uh, strokes for different folks. I watch a lot of uh, paddling videos. A lot of people that get out in the outdoors and uh, you know the enjoyment they get from uh, from paddling the canoe and getting to where they want to go to and and the whole portaging thing and all that is very exciting for for those people. For myself, I'm not so much into the paddling thing and the portaging thing. I want to use it to get to where I want to go to. My adventure is awaits me, is the way I think about it, which may be kind of corny, but you know, whether that's camping or going to explore something, that's the way I look at it. It's, it's a tool to get me to where I want to go. So in, uh, in a sense, uh, I think the time was right to sell it, made a little bit of money on it. And again, I wasn't going to use it for the rest of the summer because of the shoulder. So I just thought, you know, it gives me a number of options to, uh, to upgrade. The beauty of the uh, K2 Explorer is it's inexpensive at 172 Canadian dollars. I can pretty much uh, do everything I want to do with that. And if I decide to upgrade uh, at some point in the future, 
then I can go ahead and do that without uh, much uh, much trouble at all. If you're interested in buying a Intex K2 Explorer, consider using my uh, affiliate link down in the description below. And they're a lot of fun. You don't need to drive a truck to uh, to be able to handle um, or to have this uh, type of uh, boat, but you can get over the water anywhere and uh, really enjoy it. So, yeah, you know what? If you're interested, um, I would consider checking it out for the price that that they are. So that's about it for now. I just wanted to let you guys know what was happening and I uh, wanted to show you uh, my new kayak and my new mode of transportation on the water. And I look forward to getting out there in the spring on the kayak and, uh, you know, see what trouble we can get into. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.